Hey there everyone, it's Jenna. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a home decor haul for you all. And these are all products that I've curated over the past couple of months to help give my space that high-end designer feel and just make it feel fresh for the new season. So not only am I going to show you the product, but I'm also going to show you how I styled it throughout my space and just share some fun design tips along the way. And also just share some of the things that I gravitate towards or look for when purchasing new home decor. So should be a really fun video and anything that can be linked will be linked below in the description box. If not, I'll try to link something similar. So just check that if you want to reference anything. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so for this first item, I found it at TJ Maxx and I believe they had it at Marshall's as well. I posted about it over on my community page. I posted it on my Instagram and like to know it. So if you're not following me on any of those, make sure that you are because I post everything as soon as it drops. So you're able to get it before it sells out. So unfortunately this is now sold out, but they do have a similar product that is in stock and I hope it will still be in stock by the time this video goes live. So I will link that below, but it is this gorgeous travertine bowl. Now this was $20, which is insane when you think about it because lots of designer sites sell travertine decor products. So things like bowls, tissue covers, trays, things like that. And these typically go for 150 plus dollars. So the fact that this was $20 was so good. And when I look for decor, I really am drawn to more organic materials. So things like travertine and limestone, marble, wood, things like that just help give your space a very grounded, earthy feel. And that's what I love to curate when creating my styling items. So this guy is absolutely beautiful. It does have lots of natural holes in it. So for me personally, I love the look of that. I love it to look a little bit worn and aged. And this is for decorative use only, so I'm not gonna be using it to like serve food or anything. So what I did think would be such a good spot for this would be in our dining room. I recently switched up my tabletop style styling and added a double vase kind of situation with some long twiggy stems. And I love the rustic look of that. And something that I felt like would make this a little bit more luxurious would be using this as a napkin holder. So, you know, when you go to those nice fancy restaurants and in the bathroom, they have a little tray of napkins. I just think that looks so high end and luxurious. So why not incorporate that into my dining room decor? So I will say there's something about this that looks a little bit less store bought and more just casual and intentional and very high end. So I love the light look of this stone and how it'll contrast against the darker wood on the vases, but still tie in that earthy element into my styling. All right, so for this next piece, I know I've mentioned this before on my channel in previous videos, but checkered pattern is super big right now, whether it's being used in textiles, things like blankets and pillows, or, you know, in more permanent fixtures, things like flooring or wallpaper, it is all over the place right now. I'm seeing it used by so many different designers. So when I saw these, I knew they would be such a great buy. And they are these little napkins from Target. A pack of four was $20, which I thought was a really good deal because Lulu in Georgia actually sells a very similar set for a lot more. And they also had this same exact fabric in tablecloths as well, which would be super cute for a little outdoor setup. Those were in the $20 price range. They had a round and a rectangular one. And I thought that was such a good deal because I've seen super similar tablecloths on designer sites for over a hundred dollars. And I just love the sweet summery picnic-y vibe of this pattern. And I like that it's kind of like a taupey brown. So it still kind of fits in with that earthy feel that I love. And it's just a fun way to incorporate a subtle pattern into a tablescape. So for those of you who follow my channel, you know that I don't personally like to go out and spend extra money on napkin rings. There's so many things you can do to your napkins to make them feel intentionally styled, whether you just give it a simple knot down the middle or something that I like to do is just get a little piece of twine and go clip some greenery of some sort, whether it's an herb or just something from the yard and tie that in with the twine. And that just helps it to feel very organic and styled when in reality it didn't cost you anything and it's just super simple to do. So definitely a fun way to kind of participate in that checkered trend without spending a lot of money. And even though it is a trend, I will say the checkered pattern, especially when it comes to table linens, is just super classic anyway. So definitely a good investment and I'm excited to use it in my tablescapes this summer and spring. All right, so this next piece I didn't necessarily need because I already had one, but 
you know when it's just kind of fun to swap up the look of something and make it feel fresh and new that's what i did so i bought this really cute tabletop lamp and this reminds me a lot of those very expensive rustic lamps that are available on designer sites for hundreds of dollars but this is just a more compact version to look really cute out on my kitchen countertop and i've talked about this before on my channel but i love to use little tabletop lamps in my kitchen because number one it makes your space feel very intentionally styled and homey and you know kitchens can tend to be very cold and sleek and it's nice to kind of add these softer finishes to make them feel a little bit more homey so not only does it look great but it's very practical we did not opt for under cabinet lighting when we were doing our new build so it's actually really nice to have the light I use it every single night when I'm cooking so definitely a very practical piece and I love this distressed texture on here just to give off that really rustic earthy look and this was from Kirkland's it was $20 which I thought was a great deal and definitely something to just help warm up and swap up the look of my countertop and make it feel fresh for the spring season okay so the next piece that I found was this super gorgeous linen pillow cover I found this guy on Wayfair and it was $30 for a 22 by 22 size which I actually thought was a really good deal because this looks very similar to those vintage stripe pillow covers that can literally go for hundreds of dollars and I like to call my larger pillows like my big base pillows so those are the ones that kind of sit in the back and anchor my pillow styling and then from there I can kind of pick more fun patterns or different colors to pop in front of them but I like my base pillows to be very neutral and simple and subtle so I love that this just has a simple subtle stripe and is really versatile I can really style lots of different patterns and colors in front of this and just change up the look that way as opposed to having to change out every single pillow so that's just something I try to do to kind of save myself money when switching up the look of my throw pillows to pick classic versatile pieces for the back and then switch out the smaller ones in the front whenever you know I get bored or I want to change things up okay so it wouldn't be a home decor haul if I didn't include some sort of stem and I did post about these over on my community page and my Instagram I alerted you all because a floral had a sale and so I snagged some of these and they are these gorgeous sweet pea stems and unfortunately they are now sold out but I will try to link some similar products below but I'll kind of give you all some tips and guidelines that I go by when purchasing faux florals and something that I like to look for personally is more muted color and I know that might kind of sound lame but a lot of times not all the time but a lot of times if you pick super saturated faux florals they do end up looking very fake so if you'll notice these are pink but they're a very pale pink and they kind of ombre into like a more neutral white and I don't know I think for me personally this is just enough touch of color to where it feels spring-like and fresh but it isn't too distracting from the neutral palette that I have going on throughout the rest of my space and something else that I'll do with my florals to make them feel a little bit more realistic is I'll just bend the stem in an accordion kind of shape like back and forth so they feel like they've just kind of been growing naturally and they have more of that lifelike feel and look to them so another great way to save money when styling with faux florals in the springtime is I just like to add a couple of stems to greenery that I already own so for these I styled three of them in a vase that I had from Amazon and then I just used two olive stems that I already had and I added these in there to kind of create that gathered organic look kind of like everything was just freshly cut from the backyard and you know plopped in a vase when in reality it's all faux and it's going to last me all season long and is maintenance free so four dollars a stem for these on sale I thought was a really good deal and these instantly updated the look of my vase okay so for this next thing if you missed my Ikea shop with me and haul I kind of put together this really cute little plant stand and I was looking for some things to style on it that would also be practical and so I actually came across this when I was at Walmart and it's this super cute little copper watering can now it does say for indoor and outdoor use and powder coated finish for rust resistant 
consistent durability. So I haven't actually started using it yet, but it seems to be of decent quality and I love the kind of aged coppery look on it. It has a little bit of faux distressing on it, which I absolutely love. You all know I love things that have character and some sort of patina. So I like that it has a little bit of that on here. And I was actually pretty surprised by Walmart in my most recent trip there. They had some really cute items, including these super cute aged terracotta looking pots. And they were actually very reasonably priced. So that would be a really pretty way to get that rustic look in your garden for a really good price. And also something that I thought was cool with this was that it actually came with a Better Homes and Gardens magazine subscription for a year. So I actually just filled it out. You have to put in your receipt number. So make sure you save your receipt, but you just put that in and you can do it online. It tells you the website to go to on the back of here. So yeah, I thought that was really cool. This guy was 18 bucks. So I actually thought that was a really good deal considering that copper watering cans can be really expensive. So it's a great way to get that old world feel on a budget. And I think this will look super cute styled on my little plant stand. And it will also be very practical to use to water my small herb plants with. All right, so another thing that I love to look for when picking out home decor products are wovens. I feel like wovens just add a lot of warmth and texture to your space. So when I saw this piece, I had to get it. It is this gorgeous woven tissue box cover. It was only $15. I found this at Target, and this looks super similar to products that are sold at Pottery Barn and Serena and Lily for two to three times the price. So definitely a steal. And what I love about this is that it makes a common everyday item look super aesthetic and just fit right in with that natural earthy vibe that I have going on in my space. So I actually have another one that I bought from Target previously and I love that one, but it does have little holes so you can see through to the tissue box. And I honestly really like this one better because it totally covers the entire box. So I don't really have to worry about like an ugly design when I'm picking them out. I can just buy the cheapest one. So yeah, just one of those really practical pieces to have on hand to help enhance the aesthetics of an otherwise ugly tissue box. And you know, know that it also has a designer look and feel to it for a fraction of the price. All right, now this next piece was another one of those that I alerted you all when it was a new arrival. Unfortunately, it is sold out, but I do keep an eye out for very similar pieces. And if you are subscribed, I do post very frequently on my community page to show you all new arrivals and good deals. So it is this super cute little winged rustic planter. This guy was $17 on TJ Maxx, which I thought was such a great deal. This doesn't have a drainage hole or anything so I actually had several ideas for this. One I thought it'd be really cute to switch up and use as a utensil holder. I really do like the utensil holders that I have but sometimes like I said it's just fun to switch things up and you know make things feel fresh and new. So I love this little wing detail. A lot of designer sites have jars and vases with this little wing detail. It does give off a very vintagey vibe and look which I absolutely love. I also love how rustic and distressed this looks and it kind of just seems like it's been sitting out in the sun for years aging and for me I just love that I think that gives character to a space and I thought this would be really pretty to also use as a little vase because it is a little bit lower it would be great to use on our coffee table and just pop some greenery in here and just help to give off that rustic earthy feel that I love for my space okay so for those of you who regularly follow the channel you know that I love to get that high-end look for less and a product that I found recently that I feel like really does that is this Casa Luna candle from Target. And to me, this just smells so much like one of those luxury candles. And I actually stumbled across this because I was looking for a new candle and I was looking through just the general candle section at Target and this wasn't there. I actually found this over in the Casa Luna aisle, at least at my Target. This was in the aisle with all of the bedding and everything and all the linens that are Casa Luna brand. So the smaller sizes were $12 and then the large sizes were 20 bucks. And honestly, I thought that was a really good a deal considering how good these smell. It was truly hard for me to decide because all of them were so good, but I ended up going with the reflection scent and I just love this very simple packaging on here. I think it looks super luxurious. So, you know, this would look great kind of styled with some other items grouped together. What I bought this for personally was just to burn on my desk as I'm working throughout the day because it's a very calming scent. And this reflection scent says that it's poured with lavender and cashmere to welcome stillness. So actually really funny 
random story, the fact that this has lavender in it. When I was younger, like maybe six or seven, a snake made its way up our hose spigot and died in our wall, which was right outside my bedroom at the time. And my parents were like, Jenna, like, what did you spill in here? Why does it smell so bad? And I was like, I didn't do anything. I don't know. And like, we could not figure it out, but it was getting to the point where like, you could not even be in my room. Like I had to go sleep in another bedroom because the stench was so awful. And we covered it up with a lavender scent air freshener. So for years, I could not appreciate the smell of lavender because I always smelled dead snake. And like those scents were just intertwined in my memory together. So it took me like literally years to actually enjoy the scent of lavender again. So yeah, random story. But if you want a luxurious smelling candle, definitely go check out the Casa Luna aisle at Target because these smell really, really good. Okay, so the next thing that I picked up was this super cute little mini ceramic pitcher from Amazon. Now, this guy was $17, which I know it kind of sounds a little pricey for something this small, but I had been looking for something like this for so long. What I use this for is I keep it out on my countertop as like a little sidekick when I'm cooking because 90% of the time I need to add water to dishes. And for so long I was having to open the cabinet and get a cup out and I wanna have something just on my countertop ready to go because a lot of times when I'm cooking, I have a million things going and it just kind of feels like, you know, a whole distracting step. So I'm like, I just wanna have something ready to go to pour some water in or, you know, if I need to reserve some pasta water out of some boiling pasta. This is great for that because it's ceramic, so it's really heat resistant. It's also really great to have on hand for heating up syrup or to put gravy in or extra sauces. So it's really, really versatile and I actually use it all the time. So not only is it super practical, but I love the finish of this ceramic glaze and how it just kind of looks to be very rustic and fits into that neutral earthy vibe that I have going on on my countertop. All right, everyone, that about wraps up this video. I hope that you enjoyed this little home decor haul and enjoyed seeing me style my new pieces in my space. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. It really does help to support my channel and make sure you're subscribed because I post new content every single week. And like I've mentioned many times in this video, I am super active in my community page and that is the best way for you to stay on top of sales, new arrivals, and restock alerts. So make sure you don't miss out on that. And I just want to thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you have a fabulous week and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!